tick infestation we have been having here at my house. Hi, little buddy. Oh, look at that guy. That is so disgusting. What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all having an amazing day. So before I get into today's video about the tick infestation we have been having here at my house, I'm actually going to head in the garage to show you all the little baby tortoises that have been hatching these past couple days. And then I'm gonna bring them out here into this little bin right there so they can get their sunlight for the day. So here are all the little baby tortoises. You have the little red foots in these two little bins right here. And this one is a red foot too, but the reason they are separated is because these guys in this bin, they absorbed their yolk sac right here, which where it would be, they absorbed it completely, you can see. And if I show you these guys, they haven't absorbed it totally. And if we put them in the mulch too early, it could potentially pop their yolk sac. So we don't want that. That's why they are in this bin without any mulch. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take the guys in this little bin right here and I'm gonna soak them in here because little baby tortoises get dehydrated really really fast so now that i have the bin right here to fill up with the water to soak the little baby tortoises i'm just gonna fill it if you can look up over here i'm not gonna fill it too much because obviously we don't want to drown these little baby tortoises but i'm gonna fill it up so you know where they can walk around and you know drink some water and absorb it so i think you know this is a pretty good height for the water so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this inside the garage and we are gonna place the little baby tortoises in here so now since the water's right here i'm just gonna take this little guy like look how cute this little guy is we're gonna place him in here and we're gonna take them one by one carefully placing each of them in here oh guy do you like the water and place one there are so many oh, come on guys oh you can see this little guy he's kind of drinking the water right here look how cute that is how adorable. There you go, little buddy. It's so cute. And the last one is going in right now. Just look how cute these little guys are. They are so adorable. They are so, so tiny. Now when these guys hatch out of their egg, you can see that the shell is a little deformed. Now that is because he is still growing into his shell and he will eventually fill out, you know, like this little guy right here. This guy was the first red foot that actually hatched. So he's all filled out of his shell and he's looking so cute. So I'm just gonna add the rest of the little red foots to the water to soak up. Now my favorite red foot out of all of them has to be this little guy right here. Now look how beautiful the color, the red color on his legs and his face. And just look at his shell compared to the darker red foot. Now he is just gonna be one beautiful little tortoise. Hi little buddy. Are you enjoying your little bath? Are you enjoying soaking the water? Now every other day these little guys actually have to get soaked because since they get so dehydrated, you know, this really hydrates them since they're so tiny. This is very beneficial for their growth. So these guys soak for about 15 to 30 minutes. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna leave these little guys right here and I'm gonna go feed the Galapagos tortoise. So the fridge we have outside is completely filled with vegetables, as you can see. Now, these are all donations for all the animals we have here at the house. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out an assortment of yummy, yummy vegetables to feed the Galapagos tortoises. So now that I got an assortment of vegetables for the little Galapagos tortoise, we are going to go feed them right now. Hey, little buddy. So I'm actually going to feed this guy so you guys can see if we can spot any ticks so i'm just gonna grab a couple things right here hey little buddy oh you hungry come on your food's right there my finger's not your food there you go buddy i don't know if you guys can see right there but you can see a big fat tick right there oh okay, guy it's okay i'll let you eat now we're gonna feed this big guy right here you can already see that i have you know all the vegetables and he's already coming out but if you look around his neck I don't see any ticks, so I think he's good to go. We're not gonna have to flip this big guy today. But here, here buddy, enjoy your food. Now that these little baby tortoises are all done soaking up all the water, I brought them out here so I can transfer them into this little bin so they can get 
their vitamin D for the day. Now this is very necessary for their growth because if they don't get enough sunlight, they can get what's called metabolic bone disease. This actually causes spongy shells and it can cause them not to walk. So obviously we do not want that, so we're gonna get these guys in here and enjoying the sunlight for today. Now since we got these little guys in here, I'm gonna put the hose on mist and I'm just gonna mist them down a little bit because if we don't mist them down, we can't keep the humidity up. Now the humidity is also really beneficial for their growth because if not, they can get what is called a pyramid shell. Right now they obviously don't have that is completely flat because that is not a problem. A pyramid shell will actually cause this part of their shell right here to actually be raised up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on right here so no predators get them like raccoons or foxes or even possums in the neighborhood. And then I'm gonna take this little wood piece right here and I'm gonna place it on one side so these little babies don't overheat and they can get some shade. So now while the little baby tortoise is eating his vegetables right now, I'm gonna run inside and I'm gonna grab a little dish of alcohol and tweezers so we can kill these ticks. Now that I have the little cup right here to put the alcohol in, I'm just gonna put a little bit in, you know, to, you know, kill these ticks. That should be about good. Now I have the tweezer here and I'm going to take this and let's go kill some ticks. So now that this little guy is done eating all of his little vegetables, I set up a little area back there in the shade to get all of his ticks off because, you know, I don't want him overheating. But Galapagos tortoise, you know, the females can weigh up to 250 pounds full grown and the males can actually get up to 500 pounds. Now we are not able to tell the sex until they are about 10 years old. So this little guy has, you know, a little ways to go. Now that we have this guy flipped over, he can only be flipped over for five to 10 minutes because, you know, it can flip his organs. So if you look over here, come guys, look closer. He has a million little baby ticks everywhere. So we're gonna have to get that off, you know, without him freaking out. Come on guys, it's okay. Oh my gosh, they're all over his leg. This is so disgusting. Let me get this. Oh my gosh. He's, he's fighting me. Oh, I got the first one, guys. Put it in alcohol. That is so disgusting. Let me get this one right here. Ew. Oh, look at that. That is so disgusting. He has a little baby right here. Come on, guy. I'm only trying to help you. That is so gross. There's a big guy right here. Look at that. Oh, look at that guy. That is so disgusting. Oh, poor guy. There are so many little ticks on him. Let's get this one. Oh, I'm sorry, guy. I was trying to help you. Oh, he is not liking me doing this right now. So we got most off the front, but now we're gonna try to get his leg extended. If you can see, he has literally a million babies. Come on, buddy, I'm just trying to help you. Do you see that, guys? There are so many babies in there, and especially on this side, too. So what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna just grab this little baby right here. Oh, it's stuck on here so good. Look how disgusting that is. That's going in the alcohol. Look at this little baby. Having the babies on is actually not a good sign. That tells that there is eggs and there's gonna be a bunch more on him. Look, look guys, look how disgusting. Oh my goodness. I have never seen so many ticks on an animal in my entire life. This is so disgusting. Oh, I'm just trying to help you, buddy. So guys, I'm still removing ticks off this guy. There has to be, I don't even know how many there has to be. Guys, stop right now what you're doing. Pause the video, comment down below how many ticks you guys think I'm gonna get off this guy because this is, this is crazy. I have never seen so many ticks in my entire life. He's actually trying to flip over right now and I spotted a really big tick in here. Come on guys, extend your neck. Oh, look at him, wait, let me grab it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hi right, buddy, let me get your tick. I'm trying to help you here. Come on, buddy. Oh, I just got this little fat one. It took me literally 10 minutes to get this guy off of him. Wow, that is crazy. I think there's another one on his neck, but you know, oh, look right here. I'm gonna try to get it. Come on, buddy. The last one, I'm pretty sure. Let me get it. 
So now that I got most all the ticks off of this little guy, I'm going to place him back in his enclosure in a minute. But before I do that, I want to show you guys how many ticks we got off. Look how many. That has to be literally over 50. That is so crazy. I have never gotten so many ticks off an animal. But if you enjoyed today's video, comment down below what you thought of this tick removal. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the first link down below if you want to see more animal videos.